couple years ago, I was feeling really old, <laughs> looking old, tired. I didn't even, I had sort of resigned myself to looking older. You know, I can show you some pictures here, but, but the worst part was feeling older because I have two young sons. Uh, they're now 10 and seven. So that would have made them eight and five at the time. And they're getting into tennis. We all play tennis. And I was having to hire coaches, you know, to hit with them and train them because I just didn't have the energy level or the ab physical ability to run around the tennis court for like an hour or two, uh, multiple times a week. So, um, I was frustrated, you know, I was going through a lot of pain. I was trying to play tennis. You know, the coach, one of the coaches for my sons kept pulling me out on the court and said, you come, you hit too. So I'd bring my racket with me and, you know, just like my heart would start beating fast. I'd start to feel like I was going to have a heart attack or something. I just I wasn't in good shape, but I also just didn't feel well. But I kept playing tennis and the recovery time after playing, once I was able to play a set, would be like three, four days. I'd be sore. I could barely walk the next day. So it's just really tough. And I'm like, wow, this is what, this is what getting old feels like. And, um, it was, it was frustrating to say the least. I don't know any, any other way to put it. About 18 months ago, I started taking NMN and my routine began to evolve. I started making dietary changes. I quit eating sugars. I quit eating processed foods. As many of you know, I've also started to intermittent fast. I'm sleeping better at night. I'm exercising more. I'm eating healthier, eating more vegetables. I feel better every three, four months. I look back and sort of, you know, take stock in how I'm doing. And people say, what if you quit NMN? I have no intentions to quit NMN because it's just getting better. Like every year's getting better. I don't know how far it's gonna go. I know that my plans have changed. I now have new plans because the last year went so well and the second half of the last year went even better than the first half. So I can only assume now at this point that things are gonna get easier next year. They get easier for me on a day-to-day -day basis. They get easy for me um, on the tennis court. Uh, as far as exercise goes, fitness goes, I seem to get more out of my workouts every month uh, more benefits from them and uh, i'm moving faster tennis is a great indicator for me a great gauge for me because you have to do so much and uh, decision making timing um, rhythm fitness all of it uh, concentration all of it plays a role and i found myself i find myself improving in multiple aspects on the court and it's really strange to think, well, in next year I'll be even better. And maybe two years I'll be even better. I don't know when things level off. I don't know when aging finally will catch up to me again and this sort of dialing back the clock won't work quite the same way. But so far, everything is looking better and better. And talking, to, hearing from people and talking to people who've been taking NMN for two, three years, they've had similar experiences. So every year got a little easier, a little better. So where's this going? Hell, five years, maybe, you know, the magic, magic time. I'm just getting warmed up right now. Who really knows yet? I've mentioned many times before, I had a lot of pain just going for walks. Now I not only go for walks, but we went, I walked with my family on the weekend and uh, we had had dinner and I was feeling good. I had a song idea. That's a whole other topic that I'm not even gonna get into today, but I've been getting a lot more song ideas. As a writer, I'm gonna get back to doing more music again. Uh, because of that, I'm just getting more ideas. So I had an idea and I start singing it and I pull up my phone and I recorded the idea real quickly just to get it, you know, committed to something. And I kept singing after I recorded the idea part. Um, I kept singing and I start to skip, but I wasn't almost like just to make a point to my kids, like, how fit I want them to be and how fit I am. I start skipping sideways and then backwards and then I'm dancing, singing. People are like, what, who, who, what's that guy? Who, what's, <laughs> they're kind of laughing at me. Like, I don't care. <laughs> I could care less. My kids are getting a little embarrassed or they're acting like it, but I think they get a big kick out of it. Uh, my kids love that I take in them in. They ask me all the time, how old are you today, dad? <laughs> they love it, they get it, and they really appreciate it. And a lot of it is for them. Uh, I also have been buying new clothes. This is just kind of related to this, which also kind of accentuates my mood, 
puts a little more skip in my step. I feel good in the new clothes, on new shoes. I'm moving well, new gym shoes. I've got some bounce in my step and it, it's fun. It's fun to have, to be wearing clothes again, to be wearing colors again, to be away from hiding behind that XL black shirt. Now I'm wearing a size L and, and medium shorts. And it's, uh, it's odd. I, I can't, it's literally been 30, over 30 years since I've worn uh, the, any sizes like that. Um, used to be an L many, many moons ago. All I can remember it being is, is an XL, and it's really strange going into the stores and, and buying, just going right to the L or looking on the hanger for the L's. Um, and if I see something cool, ugh, the L's gone. You know, it's like being bummed. Well, there's lots of XL's and I'm not gonna get them because they're just, they're like wearing a tent. I mean, this is an L and it's loose, you know? And, you know, yeah, I've got, I'm not p p overly skinny. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not built, right? But I've got some muscle tone too, so I don't feel like a twig. So I feel good. I feel good. I got that bounce in my, I got that spring in my step, that bounce in my step. Don't confuse user error with user's fault. It's not user's fault that there's user error. User error can be any of a number of things in this case. Um, you're not taking enough. You know, a lot of the human trials were only done with 250 milligrams of NMN, and that's just very little. That's much less than a recommended dosage from a reputable pure NMN uh, reseller. It would be some, something like 500 milligrams or up. I'm actually taking two grams, so four times that now. I find a good dosage. I usually feel great after 1.5 grams, but at the moment I'm still taking the two because I'm about to do my second NAD test and I wanna see how much my NAD levels changed over the past couple months because I went from one gram to two. So user error can also be that packaging issue, that storage issue. Um, a, a comment, one reason I love the comments is even though we get some trolls or some bad information, we get some good tips, user tips. Like someone said, hey, are you cleaning that spoon? Because I take NMN sublingually under the tongue tap it on the teeth. But even that little tap in the mouth can pick up bacteria. If you put that back in the NMN or don't wash it every day, you're doing this, um, in my case, four times a day over months. So of course I gotta wash that spoon. So every day I wash the spoon now. It's also sensitive to heat. It's also sensitive to water, very sensitive to water. So the moisture from your breath and tapping it in your mouth um, could get inside the NMN and deteriorate that NMN uh, and cause it to not be as effective. So user error is a big one. Also user error, what are you taking with NMN? Uh, David Seclair recommends a sirtuin activator, something like a resveratrol, quercetin, uh, or even olive oil, which has been shown to be a very effective sirtuin activator. And this can multiply the impacts of NMN. Uh, other good supplements to consider with NMN are CAAKG, Apigenin, a very good one. Uh, I recently added Fisetin or Fisetin, depending on who you're talking to, to the mix. And I feel really good taking that one as well. I do put that in the yogurt uh, because it's not as bioavailable on its own, just drinking it with water. By the way, NMN, you can drink with water. You can put it under the tongue. Uh, it's best to take in the morning. So time of day can matter. It's best to take it on an empty stomach. So we're synchronizing your circadian rhythms when you take it and trying to avoid having food already in your stomach when you take the NMN. Whereas resveratrol you take with food. I've seen people post, well, I take my NMN with yogurt. Well, no, that, that's the activator. That's the sirtuin activator. You don't have to take all these supplements, period, to realize health benefits. It just so happens that many of us benefit from that uh, that baseline of taking the supplements and then being more active. Another thing is, and this would be user error, are you actually making lifestyle changes when you're taking an NMN? Preferably start a little before so you can really see the difference. Make sure you're exercising regularly before you start NMN so that when you take NMN, you can actually feel if you're getting an energy boost because if you don't expend energy, how do you know you're not getting more energy? It's it's not something that you could just sit around and go, do I feel it? Do I feel it? <laughs> you know, when you're active, it basically can expose how impactful uh, taking supplements or just living healthier can be or sleeping better, for example. So make sure that you, you know, use it. Use it or lose it. Make sure that you get out there and do that physical activity. Make those lifestyle changes. Eat healthier 
If you want to segment it away from, okay, I don't want to do all this at once. Um, taking NMN inspired me to make those changes, but maybe you want to make those changes first to see what that would bring to the party and then add NMN and then you'll, you'll be a little more uh, informed as to what actually NMN is doing to improve your, your lifestyle choices, your health choices, your wellness choices. And what it's done for me is turn the clock back, at least mentally, physically, attitudinally, to where I'm looking forward to the future in a way I haven't in 30 years. I'm excited. And I think that's way better than living a managed descent. I think, you know, living in an upswing pattern is way more exciting. Knowing every month got better. The past 18, 19 months have been taken in them and every month I felt better. And now I'm excited for what's coming in six months. When I say got better, I mean less illness. I mean no asthma. I mean no anxiety attacks. I mean I'm fitter. I'm running faster. I'm playing better and better, progressively better tennis. I have played over 100 matches, official matches, over the past three years. And I've never once, and it's always in my age group or very close, I've never once played an opponent that was on the upswing. I'm the only person as I as I play some of these guys again and again, I see them, I literally see guys declining. And they see me and they go, how are you doing it? You're better, you're getting better. There are a couple guys that offered to video me, by the way, who run a tournament series. They've been watching me for a couple years. It's a father and son team. And they're like, you're getting better. And then they started watching this channel. They're probably watching right now. Hello, Sebastian. Uh, <laughs> And they offer to like speak up on my behalf because they see it. They say, your viewers, they, they need to see this. We see it, you know, all the time watching you. And um, that's, it's just cool. 